What if humans lived on Mars in 2100? Imagine it's the year 2100 and humans are no longer confined to Earth. We've built cities, not on this planet, but on Mars, the red planet that has fascinated us for centuries. You step outside and instead of blue skies, you see endless red landscapes stretching out in all directions. The air outside is toxic and every aspect of life depends on advanced technology to keep you alive. But could humans really thrive in such a harsh, alien environment? Living on Mars by 2100 seems like a futuristic dream, but there's a major challenge that goes beyond the technology and survival skills we'd need to stay alive. This one issue could change the way we think about human life on Mars altogether, and no one's talking about it. Stick around, because by the end of this video, we'll reveal a surprising challenge that could completely reshape humanity's future on the Red Planet. Mars has long been seen as the next frontier for human exploration and colonization. It's the most Earth-like planet in our solar system with a day length similar to ours and signs that water once flowed on its surface. For many scientists and space enthusiasts, Mars represents the best hope for humanity to become a multi-planetary species. With advancements in technology and growing interest from organizations like NASA and private companies like SpaceX, living on Mars by 2100 feels like a real possibility. However, surviving and thriving on Mars would be anything but easy. The planet is a hostile, unforgiving and environment. There's no breathable air, the temperatures can drop to deadly lows, and the constant exposure to cosmic radiation is a serious risk to human health. On top of that, the gravity on Mars is only about 38% of what we experience on Earth, which could have serious effects on our bodies over time. But beyond these challenges, there's an even more surprising aspect of living on Mars one that could completely reshape our idea of colonization. It's an issue that most people don't even consider, but it might be the biggest challenge humans will face. We'll get into that later, so stay tuned. Why Mars? Out of all the planets in our solar system, why do we talk so much about Mars when it comes to colonization? The simple answer is that Mars is the most viable option for humans to settle beyond Earth. While it's far from perfect, Mars offers certain conditions that make it a better candidate for colonization than any other planet. First, let's talk about similarities to Earth. One of the key factors is that a day on Mars, called a Sol, is remarkably close to a day on Earth just a little over 24 hours. This means our bodies could potentially adapt to the daily rhythm of Mars more easily than on a planet with radically different day lengths, like Venus. Mars also has water, or at least signs of it. There's evidence that frozen water exists beneath its surface and in the polar ice caps. Water is crucial for any kind of long-term human presence, not just for drinking, but also for growing food and potentially creating oxygen. Another important factor is gravity. Mars' gravity is about 38% of Earth's, which is much lower, but still better than the zero gravity conditions of space or the crushing pressure of planets like Jupiter. While this lower gravity presents challenges, it's more manageable than trying to settle in space, where prolonged weightlessness can severely damage the human body. Beyond its physical characteristics, Mars is a focus for current space missions. Both NASA and SpaceX are heavily invested in getting humans to Mars. NASA has been studying the planet for decades with rovers and orbiters, gathering valuable data. Meanwhile, SpaceX, led by Elon Musk, has ambitious plans to send humans to Mars within the coming decades. These efforts make Mars feel more within reach than ever before. With these factors in mind, its day length, potential water sources, and manageable gravity, Mars stands out as the best option for colonization. But even with these advantages, it's still a hostile world and the challenges we face there are immense. The harsh realities of Mars. Living on Mars would be a constant battle for survival. 
First, there's the lack of a breathable atmosphere. Mars' atmosphere is thin and mostly made up of carbon dioxide, meaning humans can't breathe outside without life support systems. Then there's radiation exposure. Mars doesn't have a protective magnetic field like Earth, leaving us vulnerable to harmful solar and cosmic rays. Long-term exposure would increase the risk of cancer and other health issues. Mars is also extremely cold, with temperatures often dropping below minus 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Surviving in such cold would require insulated habitats and energy-efficient heating systems. Lastly, low gravity would affect human health over time. Mars's gravity is only 38% of Earth's, which could weaken muscles and bones and potentially lead to long-term health problems for future generations born there. The risks of long-term exposure to these harsh conditions are still largely unknown, but they pose serious challenges to human health and survival on the Red Planet. If you're fascinated by these challenges and want to explore more about life beyond Earth, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more thought-provoking what-if scenarios. Let us know, do you think we could overcome these hurdles and truly survive on Mars? How would we survive? To survive on Mars, humans would need advanced life support systems to provide oxygen, regulate temperature, and remove carbon dioxide. Living off the land would require closed loop systems to recycle water, air, and waste, minimizing reliance on Earth. Greenhouses would be essential for growing food, using artificial light and climate control. Mining ice from below Mars' surface would be crucial for extracting water, both for drinking and creating oxygen through electrolysis. Even with all this technology, one major issue remains unsolved. How will human bodies adapt to living in such a low-gravity environment over the long term? This could be the biggest challenge Mars colonists will face. Society on Mars. A future Martian society would face unique challenges. Governance would likely rely on tight cooperation, as survival would depend on people working together in a high-pressure, resource-scarce environment. Psychologically, the isolation from Earth could take a toll. Living millions of miles away from home, with communication delays, would create feelings of isolation and homesickness. Economically, would Mars be self-sufficient or rely heavily on Earth for supplies? Trade could become essential, but Mars might eventually develop its own industries, mining resources, and producing goods for survival. The Surprising Challenge one of the biggest, yet often overlooked challenges is the long-term effects of low gravity on human health and development. Over generations, low gravity could impact human reproduction, causing unpredictable changes in development. Martian-born humans could evolve differently than Earth-born humans, leading to potential physical and biological divergence. These changes could mean that in the future, Martian and Earth humans might not be able to live on each other's planets without severe health risks. Could Mars ever be like Earth? One of the most exciting ideas about Mars is terraforming, the process of making Mars more like Earth. Scientists have proposed ways to thicken Mars' atmosphere and warm the planet, potentially allowing humans to live without needing a spacesuit. Some theories suggest we could release greenhouse gases to trap heat, while others propose using giant mirrors to reflect sunlight onto Mars' surface. Another idea involves melting the ice caps to release carbon dioxide and kickstart a warming effect. However, the feasibility of such projects is still uncertain. It would take centuries, if not longer, to make Mars truly Earth-like, and the technology to do this is still far from reality. For now, terraforming remains a distant dream. Final reveal and call to action. Living on Mars would change humanity in ways we can't fully predict. 
From the physical effects of low gravity to the psychological toll of isolation, humans would need to adapt in unexpected ways to survive. Future generations born on Mars might evolve differently, leading to challenges we can only begin to imagine. What do you think? Could humans truly thrive on Mars, or are the challenges just too great? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Yeah. If you enjoyed this thought experiment, make sure to check out our other What If scenarios. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share for more mind-blowing content.